you know what? It's nice to spend an evening without catching up on the news or watching YouTube. I'm glad you are watching YouTube. <laughs> that is really good that parents would take their children out to camp in the wild. But nature is a great teacher because you can't have your own way with her. You have to follow nature's path. When I wriggle the toes of my right foot, it feels like the, uh, the th nail of the third toe is cutting into the uh, side of the second toe. Or it could be the fourth toe cutting into the side of the third toe. It's really hard to feel which toe is which, isn't it? And no other van life channel talks about fundamental issues of van life like this. The dawn sun is beginning to light up the other side of this ravine where I'm parked up. What a spot. A viewer wrote to me and asked, Why do I call my van interior a mink-lined mouse hole? Well, looking at my stats, it appears that 80% of my viewers are midlife crisis men. But for younger viewers, millennials and Gen Z, in the 70s, there was a TV game show whereby a married couple uh, would appear and one would be asked very personal questions while the other one was sat inside a soundproofed booth, booth with headphones on. And the presenter called that the mink-lined mouse hole. That was like something Bob Monkhouse would come up with. Anyway, anyway uh, and then they'd come out of the mink-lined mouse hole and they were asked the same personal questions about their relationship that uh, their other half was asked. And uh, whichever couple got the most right won. And uh, hilarity ensued. There it is. The sun's creeping over the tree line. It's time to put on these clothes that I've been wearing. This is the sixth day. The sixth, sixth, sixth day in these same clothes. How did that wasp creep into my purple cellophane? I mean, it couldn't have been dead to get there. It must have crawled in there and died, but... Why didn't I spot it while renewing the film? That's the first time the ensuite bathroom has ever been cleaned. Mm. Oh, it's completely fresh water and way above the contours of the sheep farmers. Socks with sandals to the diary room. Oh uh, yeah, hello diary room. Uh, yeah, I've been in the same clothes uh, six days now. 
Uh, oh, and I can smell myself, and I, I don't like it. I really want to just jump in a mountain stream and uh, sort it out, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's all after a can of tuna. And they were eight cans for six pounds in Aldi. Now, here's a top survival tip. If you've just opened a can and you've pushed it all the way in and uh, you can't pick it out from where it is, you just push, you find out where the hinge is, which is here, go around 90 degrees and push. And you'll find that the other end will be yeah. enough to open. You're welcome, YouTube. Mmm, mmm, protein. Mmm. Bees got into my car. Oh, not in there. No. I have to scare them out without getting, without getting hurt. Go on. How'd you get? Okay. <laughs> He's gone. No, gone but not forgotten. He's still determined. Oh no, one of my flags has fallen off into the mud. It's just non-stop adventure and excitement out here in the middle of nowhere. Why does anyone even have a TV? Uh, and that's no offence to Brett, of course, who single-handedly, just with one fell sentence, doubled my entire traffic. I'm now up to like 500 views per video. Ooh, that, I mean, that's viral by my standards. It would be great if this grommet fit in that hole <laughs> the bee tried to get into. I mean, I've been using this to um, s uh, wedge the GoPro into my roof rack to get those rear views, but I think yeah, if it, that fits, that would be ideal. Well, do you know what? <laughs> that's a great fit. I'll give my interior solar lamp a bit of a recharge. I mean, that's been used for about two weeks now. It must be running dead. All that excitement, and I hadn't even finished my breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and another top tip. If you're just beginning the world of vlogging and editing for whatever adventure you're on, Use different camera angles, and that keeps people's interest. You can't really laugh because that was me just three months ago. I wonder what that's for. I mean, it can't be for catching fish. You can't canoe in here, it's just too rocky. Can't stop a flash flood. Or a rock fall. I don't know what he's up to there. Yep, I got it. It's the property boundary of uh, the house up the road there. So uh, children often like to walk up and down the river, don't they? Just to stop them doing it. And that must have been a hell of a job putting the fence up that hill there. It's like more than 45 degrees incline. Oh. Hello. Well, this has turned into a right Piccadilly circus. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I forgot I bought them from Poundland. Oh no, it was ages ago. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. That is an amazing piece of wild camping. Join me in the next episode when I'll be bathing in the mountain stream at Blimey Combe.